Hello and welcome to At Your Service, brought to you by the Village of Downers Grove. Today we're on location in the Prentice Creek subdivision to talk about the hybrid streetlight project. This exciting new technology uses a combination of solar, wind, and battery power to light the streets in this previously unlit established subdivision. Earlier, I spoke with Jack Reedy, president of the Homeowners Association, about the project. There's approximately 65 kids in the neighborhood uh, that uh, there was no street lights and they were concerned about their kids walking around. And then the second was just uh, security for the homes. Uh, what we were looking for is obviously something energy efficient. The village came out for an oral presentation and gave us three choices. And one of the choices was what uh, we have here today, which was a hybrid, which included uh, wind turbine and solar. The response of what the lights actually provide uh, to the community has been overwhelmingly positive from the people that I've talked to. I would say the, to the total process was six months. It was, it was amazing. I have to applaud not only the mayor, uh, public works, uh, and the grant writer of the village of Downers Grove. Let's join Bob Ross, project manager with Eston Science, to learn more about these unique poles. Well, these are hybrid poles. They have uh, wind turbines, solar panels, and an LED street light built into them. They're all self-contained. They hold their own power and batteries at the base of them, and they don't need any um, electricity from any other source to run. The pole itself is made out of concrete. Um, it's got a coating on it that won't let people put graffiti on it. They're manufactured, they're basically uh, rebar inside that is uh, pulled tight and then put into a mold and concrete's poured and then they're spun. So they actually have a, basically a center hole all the way through them. Well, the solar panels during the midday will be charging the batteries and that's where we're going to get a lot of the power from. The solar panels are about 175 watts each and they'll keep the batteries really topped up. Where the wind is a, is a more of a constant, it um, can produce electricity all day and all night, just depends on the wind. We also have about three days of stored electricity in the base, in the batteries. The batteries are sealed batteries inside, so there's no off-gassing or anything. They need absolutely no maintenance. They're good for about 10 years without having to anything done with them. Um, they can be put on their sides. They, they're basically tamper-proof. Very few moving parts, just the wind turbine, and it's all sealed bearings, so there's nothing to really maintain. Um, people worry about ice and snow on the turbines, but it just sheds right off. There's no place for it to build up, so it's... The pole itself is just buried in the ground, uh, and then it's uh, stamped down, and that's the way it sits. Uh, most of the weight is on the bottom of the pole, so we don't need to add any concrete in the ground or anything like that. The pole goes down about four feet, just below the frost line. These poles are actually quite intelligent. Um, the computer system in, will turn the lights on and off automatically using the solar panels, our photo. Um, it will also uh, keep track of all the battery uh, power that we use. Um, it will manage the whole system on its own with no maintenance. One of the biggest comments we get is the look. It's, a, it's sort of a more older traditional style um, people wonder about the turbine on top. Um, people think of turbines as making noise and, you know, would bother the residents here. But our turbines don't make any noise whatsoever. Uh, they don't kill any birds. Mm -hmm. And they work in low winds and in high winds. There's no shutoff on them. The light itself is a LED light bulb that has, it takes about 57 watts to run it and will look like a normal street light and light up the whole street outside here. The big thing is that we're using uh, no electricity from the grid whatsoever. So you're basically, you know, saving one street light on your street that's self-sufficient for the next 20 years. As we've heard, this unique system uses no electricity from the grid, resulting in reduced carbon emissions. 45% of the total project cost was covered through grant funding and the village looks forward to the overall reduced maintenance cost of this hybrid lighting system. For At Your Service, I'm Doug Kozlowski.